Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Titan Chain Alloy Snow Tire Chain here on our 2022 Ram 1500 Classic. That's going to be a ladder pattern style chain, which means these cross sections go perpendicularly across the tire. That's going to make it really nice for our starts and stops, but not be the best for overall ride quality. But in the snow and ice, that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for traction, and this is definitely going to do that. The square shaped links here are going to be good for bite into that deep snow and ice. Compared to something like a twist link or a cable chain, this is going to be a lot more aggressive. This does have cam tensioners, three in total around the tire chain, that we can twist and use to tighten up the tire chain. We still recommend having a rubber tensioner as well, just for that added layer of security, but it is nice that we get these extra points of adjustment on the chain. The chains come in a pair, and they come in this canvas bag. This isn't my favorite method of carrying tire chains. You can reuse it, but over time they have a tendency to rip. Especially with these more aggressive chains, you'll often find that these bags are already ripped. You can see this one already has a small tear in the back already. So I recommend just getting something like a plastic tote. It's going to be more durable and it's going to help with any sort of wet water from getting into your vehicle if you choose to store your chains there. Kicking off the install here, we want to lay out the chain and make sure that nothing's tangled up. This style of chain can get pretty tangled in the bag typically, so it's good to make sure everything's in good working order. Ours is all good here. And then we want to make sure that the cams are towards the outside of the tire. And these sections here at the end of our cross sections, they have a sort of hook shape. We want that hook shape facing away from the tire. So if you're driving onto the chain and attaching it that way, have them face down. For us today, we're going to drape it over the tire and connect it on the bottom. So we'll have them face down, basically just touching the tire. And then, of course, our lever will be on the outside as well. From there, we can drape it over the tire. Just coming here and grabbing it in the middle and then carefully pulling it over, trying to keep it centered as we do so. Push it back and center it kind of front to back here as well as side to side. Luckily with the middle cam here, we can kind of use that as our center mark. Everything looks pretty good here and we can make our first connection in the back. So on the end closest to me, we have this hook and on the end closest to the camera and you guys over there, we have our free links. We basically just want to hook that link into the hook. And you can see here on the very end, it's pretty loose. So we can actually go in a few links if we want. The exact fitment's going to depend on your tire and how the tread is. We can always come back here and tighten it up or loosen it if we need to. I'll start off here right now. I'll make our connection in the front and see if we need to come back. From here, we can feed our lever arm through the free links on the front end. I'm gonna go pretty far in on this one just because it's still pretty loose. And from there, just fold it back. You can see here that should pull up some of the excess chain. Even so, it's pretty loose right now. So I might tighten it up in the back before I go and do this. But essentially, this is gonna fold back and hook into the free link right there. If you like where it is, you can move on to the cams. The included tool will just insert into this slotted portion here and turn it to tighten the chain. As you go around the tire, you'll feel it start to tighten up. We're getting some pretty good tension on that one. And then our final one here might actually be enough to get a good solid fit. Depending on how it's fitting for you, you might not need to do all three, but for us today, that's actually doing a pretty good job. So from here, I'm gonna add a rubber tensioner just for the extra support. For the rubber tensioner, it's not required, but we always recommend it just to get that extra fit on your tire, make sure everything stays nice and tight. And when you do it, you just wanna go back and forth, keeping things as even as possible. And that will just pull out that extra slack that you might have in the chain. And with that last one, that's going to just put some extra pressure around the chain to keep it tight on the tire. From here, you wanna drive forward a few times, go ahead and check them out, make sure that nothing's adjusted too much and that they're all still snug on the tire. If you need to make any final adjustments, do so, and then you're ready to hit the road.